Hey guys, welcome back to O Media Services. We're doing uh, the second video now um, for this location that we have. Um, just a little bit of debriefing on what happened before is we, we came here, there's a lot of trees around, so we managed to find a spot for our dishy out here, which there still is some interference happening, but it was a lot less uh, further out that we got, but the tips are still there. So we're only running about 60 to 40 megabits right now. But the unique thing about this is that we have a, a clay roof um, in which we have to get uh, the satellite mounted onto it. So these these are in particular a little more challenging to mount to. So we have what they call an NPR, non-penetrating roof mount, that we're gonna be putting up on there and we're gonna get this installed inside. Okay, this is crucial here. Um, I've been seeing a lot of reports of people having problems getting these connectors um, slid on. So with it being the proprietary cable that it is right now, um, it's difficult to obviously replace. You have to go to back to Starlink to get it at this point in time. Uh, so be extra careful. So if you look really closely at that, I hope you can get a good zoom in, but it's, it's like a small HDMI cable or like a USB style of connection right and it doesn't take much to dent that so doing something like just dropping it onto the ground right um you know you could put a little dent in there and then now you're uh, scrambling to try to find another cable so highly recommend uh put some tape around the connection make sure it stayed safe especially while you're doing the uh, actual installation of it here so i'm just going to take a little bit of tape I'm gonna put it over that end, so if I do happen to drop this connection on something or it gets pushed up against something, it's gonna be protected. All right, so we've got our little attic access here over in the back side of the house. We went up into here and I'll show you, brought the line down from the attic space, we had to get right up in there and then pull it down to this room and then we ran it just on the outside. This is our NPR that's gonna be going on the roof. So usually this is used on like flat roof buildings. Um, and we got some rubber to go down underneath it. Uh, and then some bricks to weigh it down. Uh, usually this is on a flat roof, but we got this modified. So a fella actually welded it. So now it can collapse. So, and then we just gotta get these arms attached in, into here. So this is, uh, goes up to the roof, we'll go get this put on. All right, well, that's a wrap. We have uh, the dishy mounted. We end up putting the NPR onto the clay roof here. It works really good. You've seen the trees that we're fighting against out there. Um, you know, this is why we had to bring it up just to this height. We could maybe go a little bit higher and then we'd have to put some 
um, guide cables on it as well. But we're under that uh, six foot mark here and we're well clear of all these trees around us. They're enjoying great signal and we mounted it without putting any physical damage to the roof. We hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure to subscribe. Head to our website, www.starlingcommunityforums.com and join in the conversation with all sorts of new users there as well. Thanks guys.